Still on P8, this is using dihedral to uh, improve lateral stability. So this aircraft has dihedral wings. You can see that because the wings point up a little bit. They have a, an upwards angle. What happens is, you remember, there's a little story. The aircraft's flying. The aircraft will bank. As it banks, the lift vector, which will be going in this direction, right? the lift vector will, will start to produce some turning force, some centripetal acceleration or centripetal force. It will side slip the aircraft. The aircraft will side slip because not all the lift is going up over. So the first thing, the aircraft banks, it will side slip. As the aircraft side slips, this now changes the direction of the relative airflow. If you remember the bendy ruler in class. Okay, now if that's head on to, for the relative airflow, the relative airflow is now coming from this direction here. Okay, and the most important thing is from the relative airflow's point of view, when it changes direction, the relative airflow changes direction from this angle here, you can now see more of the bottom surface of the downgoing wing. So the aircraft is side slipping towards you. So we're going to do that now. So we're going to side slip towards you, and as you can see there on that camera, you can see more of the bottom surface of this downgoing wing. That's going to increase the effective angle of attack of the downgoing wing. Right? I just angle it slightly differently there. 